Welcome to Third Party Thursday. My name is Brandon Cooper, and I'm the Chief Risk Officer here at Venminder. Let's talk about some best practices as you have on the board here. First, stay educated. Read a lot and study interpretations, such as legal analysis or industry publications, or even look in less common places like Twitter or LinkedIn. They often turn up some interesting nuggets of information. Stay ahead of the curve as best you can and invite others to be involved. Meet regularly with subject matter experts and ask for input from audit or counsel. A conference I attended last year in Washington, D.C. was a day-long financial services forum with regulators specifically focused on third-party risk management. It was good to have a chance to hear directly from them on what they expect, where their concerns lie, and we even had the opportunity to submit anonymously questions in advance. While they were certainly not going to provide firm new guidance, they might give stated opinions as to how you should be interpreting guidance. It does give some outstanding insight into what areas you may need to further consider in your own institution. I've seen more and more conferences focused on third-party risk popping up out there, and certainly there are many webinars available as well. Tailor your ongoing monitoring to the type of service provided and the level of risk. Call centers and statement production facilities require far different types of oversight. Watch social media carefully. What are your customers saying? What may be causing potential concerns? Direct them out of social media and address them in a more confidential manner, but also look and see if it's a leading indicator of bigger problems. We also set up some sophisticated monitoring of our third parties with queries looking for the name of the third party in conjunction with various terms like enforcement action, breach, complaint, things that might indicate an area of concern so we could promptly investigate. It's a real challenge to stay abreast of it, but you won't believe how many times we've headed off major problems by reacting to an early warning sign. Also, since the CFPB has made it their mandate since day one to have a complaints protocol, you really need to look and be prepared to address items proactively. It usually takes dedicated effort and an automated solution. I'd also suggest simple steps like checking out new third parties' reputation by looking at their Better Business Bureau rating or go to ripoffreport.com or simply do a Google News search on them. Some other best practices, particularly when it comes to the more complicated analysis of business continuity and cybersecurity reviews, it's expensive to hire that sort of talent. You often find it's better to hire as needed an outside consultant rather than add a new employee to your staff, particularly if you're not going to need them on a regular basis or if your overall organization devoted to information security is limited on resources. Consider a second set of eyes approach. That basically means getting a second review of an item by an outside independent party. While that might sound like a duplication of efforts, there's a great deal of value in getting an independent, objective, outside opinion on complicated matters just to make sure you haven't missed anything. Again, make sure the effort is documented and you note the qualifications of the independent party to conduct such a review. Automated solutions also can cut down on work and rework and reduce the propensity for errors. I've known many companies that do all their vendor management on Excel spreadsheets, but that just doesn't feel sustainable, particularly when guidance changes and you'd, in theory, need to go in and redo hundreds of spreadsheets. Don't cut corners. That sounds easy, but believe me, it's tempting. When workloads are high or time constraints exist, particularly if you're a one-person team trying to do third-party risk management as just one component of a larger compliance program. Unfortunately, that's when mistakes get made or facts get overlooked. The time and effort you put into a third-party risk program pays off in many ways. Cutting corners can cause it all to fall apart and thus expose your bank and its customers to undue risk. This was one of the things that kept me up at night. Quite frankly, making sure we weren't just rushing through things for the sake of time or efficiency. I'd like to think that I always had the consumer's interests in mind while also protecting the financial institution. There are certainly times where you get pressured on deadlines or have to make exceptions. The only advice I have there is I always believe in the role of the second line of defense. Analyze the situation, limit the occurrences, document the possible consequences, and escalate and communicate concerns. Ultimately, sometimes you can't control a situation, but you can certainly advise them how bad it might hurt if the worst case scenario plays out. Again, I'm Brennan, and thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the Third Party Thursday series.